Assalamualaikum namaste assalamualaikum my glory the very good evening to you all I'm really honored and delighted to be here to appreciate the opening of the Christmas for the Media Art Exhibition the Yellow Ribbon Project 2019 now this year Fiji Correction Service has come out for the Christmas for the Media Art Exhibition to celebrate the exceptional work and work produced by inmates at the Tangi Mobile Gallery, which I believe is just behind us. Now, for the first time ever, a fashion show also featuring clothing designs by female inmates will also be included with the art exhibition as part of the Yellow Ribbon Ministry Project, which was first established way back in 2008. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I have been reliably informed that Fiji is the second country to the state of Israel this year in organizing an art exhibition and fashion show which features and displays works produced by the women inmates of our correct uh, centers. Now, two years ago, I was invited to launch a similar exhibition in this Technology Arts Gallery, and I'm so glad and indeed thankful to be doing the same ones again tonight. Now, ladies and gentlemen, as most of the staff here know, the art gallery, which is the first of its kind for the Fiji Correction Service in the history of our country, was launched in 2008 under the government's Yellow Ribbon Rehabilitation Program. It was a commendable strategy and a major paradigm shift from the punitive to that of a rehabilitation approach in the manner in which we as a society and nation should treat former inmates, accept and interact with them as responsible and productive citizens upon their release. At the time of the gallery was an initiative mobilized and implemented by the former commissioner of the Correction Service, who retired in General Ivania Navarroa way back in October 2008, in his efforts to recognize, develop, and expose the talents and artistic potential of inmates within the Correction Institution. Now, the issue provides an opportunity for inmates to further develop and improve their skills of gain and income generating capacity whilst in custody, that of a life changing capability which should assist them upon their release and hopefully improve their assimilation back into society and become productive and prosperous PGMs. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it's my humble opinion that the nurture and further development of these inmates' talents and potential is in itself an important aspect of their rehabilitation program. And I'm reliably informed too that to qualify for this rehabilitation program, inmates will have to meet certain criteria for acceptance, participation, and achievement at the preliminary and initial stages. And some of these potential artists. enter the correction centers without any skills whatsoever about artwork. However, through the years, they have acquired the basic artistic knowledge and skills of them that to produce meaningful and epic pieces of artwork which depict and portray their life stories, struggles, hope, and aspirations for a better tomorrow. And ladies and gentlemen, I'm certain that if you critically scrutinize some of the artworks on display here tonight, you can immediately detect and recognize that there is a deeper meaning to their work. There is definitely a story to tell. Very often, as I have noticed, a sad story of hardship, struggle, rejection. But in the end, hope, forgiveness, and acceptance. Some personnel, on the other hand, were admitted in creative centers with basic artistic skills in creating fine work of art, but lack discipline, focus, and commitment. This preliminary rehabilitation program is therefore designed to help inmates to inculcate in themselves self-discipline, commitment, and a sense of pride and achievement. It provides them with an with ideal opportunity and unique opportunity to reflect, and I believe in all cases, a chance to fully express themselves in art form. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I also believe that the program also creates and imbues in inmates a sense of purpose and success which inevitably develop their confidence and hope 
It's all about Canada building and the prospects for a better future for them individually and collectively for our beloved nation as a compassionate and caring society of one people. And these are important and vital characteristics and should be most helpful in their assimilation back into society for release. And with the praise and acceptance of the artwork by us, would be, in my view, ladies and gentlemen, a much welcome boost to their morale, their pride, their sense of belonging. An important step and milestone in discarding and shedding of the stigma of being an inmate. I strongly believe that this development in itself is also a major step towards the success of the Yellow Ribbon Initiative, which the Correction Service aims at achieving in a national effort of rehabilitation and reconciliation. I further understand that under this rehabilitation program, 60% of the proceeds collected from the painting artworks sold are given back to the artists themselves, and the rest are utilized, is utilized to purchase materials for their use. And ladies and gentlemen, as the present head of state, I also advocate for gender equality and the empowering of women and girls. And I'm so glad to learn that tonight's art exhibition will also include the display of clothes and garments which are designed and sold by the female inmates. Again, this is another ideal opportunity for them to showcase their talents, which in some cases would have been developed at home, but more recently within the confines of the and service institutions, in which they are also taught the skills in designing and sewing various garments, uniforms of fellow inmates and members of corporate and public entities. As I mentioned earlier, Fiji is the second country in the world to stage a fashion show of this nature, where the designers are female inmates of the Women's Correction Service. And in this regard, please allow me to acknowledge, commend, and thank some of our fellow Fijians who have been instrumental in this major development in the promotion of the Yellow Ribbon Rehabilitation Program. Now, ladies and gentlemen, these are kind-hearted, hard-working, very caring individuals who kindly offered the invaluable time and expertise to assist the female members of our correction service to develop their talent and skills in designing and the production of fashionable governments which could provide them with an alternative source of income upon being released from these centers. Now, I contend that when the topic an issue of fashion is discussed within Fiji's social circles. The name of Miss Ellen Whippy Knight automatically comes to mind because she can be considered as a pioneer of the fashion industry in Fiji and is the founder and now the managing director of Fiji Fashion Week in the present day and age. She is someone who had persevered in promoting the fashion industry by creating an enabling platform for our local designers to improve their skills and learn more about showcasing the very creative Fijian brand designs, thus fulfilling their personal aspirations and dreams. And ladies and gentlemen, also present here tonight, this exhibition, is Ms. Amanda Hammond, the director of Upskill Fiji, who has been most helpfully involved in training some of these talented female inmates in design work and sewing. Ms. Felicia Hazelman Tulama, a name that is synonymous with corporate marketing, sponsorship, and the communication industry in Fiji. is another quiet achiever in her work behind the scenes in organizing finance events in the lives of these talented inmates who hopefully will become much reformed and productive citizens of our beloved Fiji when they are finally released from the confines of the correction service facilities. Now, to Ms. Ellen White, we've Ms. Amanda Hammond and Ms. Felicia Hazelman to love and other hard-working people and caring personal behind the scenes. A very big Minawale, and thank you all. And ladies and gentlemen, last but not least, please allow me to pay a special tribute to our very own guardian angel of the time of the year at Gallery, Mrs. Jane Ricketts, an art teacher, mentor, and mother figure. To many who have passed through during the period of activity in this art gallery since its inception and humble beginnings way back in 1998. Well done and thank you very much, ma'am.
Ladies and gentlemen, tonight's art exhibition will feature the work of three artists and three sculptors who have been working very hard in the gallery over the last few months to present an exciting collection of paintings and work which I'm sure we will all find to be very creative and interesting indeed. And with the theme Christmas Makabiti, these artists offer their own interpretation of the nativity and the Christmas story in a uniquely Fijian way. Ladies and gentlemen, I look forward to viewing in the exhibition and hope that we will all enjoy the occasion. And furthermore, I implore you not only to just admire and marvel at this beautiful piece of art, but to buy a Christmas gift from the collection for a loved one or a friend. Your kind contributions will be most helpful for those who are less fortunate during this festive season. So please let us all support this correction services Christmas for the BTR exhibition here tonight, which will be open to the public, I believe, for the next week. Or for the whole of next week. In conclusion, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to acknowledge and once again thank the Commissioner, Commander Francis Kin, and his hardworking staff for tonight's historic occasion. And wish all the artists well and every success in their future endeavors. No. I give you a great honor and deep pleasure to declare the exhibition open. I also like to wish you all a very Merry Christmas, a bright, peaceful, and prosperous 2020. Now that mighty God continue to bless you and bless the beloved nation. Now I live with Daniel Bhatt, Shukra, Prayaksha, Shesha, and thank you.